All right, everybody come over here. Let's form uh, a group, a loose group here informally in this general area. All right, we're, we're gonna talk about systems thinking, but instead of starting by giving the definition, I wanna have you enact physically a kind of system of systems. Here's what I want you to do. Look at, look at your feet, the feet of those around you. Do not look up. Without speaking to anyone around you or, gesture, or giving gestures or anything, I want you to find two people and put yourself equidistant to those two people. So on your mark, get set, go. Now, no, no straight lines, however. You gotta be at an angle. You gotta be at an angle to two people. Okay, very good. You all did good. What I would like you to do is turn that way and go about four, three or four steps that direction. Everyone else stay in place for right now. Okay, when I say go, I want you to adjust and based on that movement, form your triangles again. On your mark, get set, go. Very good. Okay, you may now look up. You may now look up. What did we just do? We, we just demonstrated physically a system of systems. Uh, the three of you that were equidistant to each other were, were a, a triangle, and you, you formed a system of triangles. That is a system of systems. Every time one person moved, what happened? Well, you know the answer. Other people around that person had to move. And so not only was your triangle uh, affected, but the triangles of other uh, triangles, even though it was only one part of one system that had to move. So the indirect effects within this system of systems are much greater than the one move was. Well, why, why is that important and why do we care? Why do we have to be systems thinkers? We have to be system thinkers in order to get hired because we've asked hiring managers what they want in people and what they're looking for is they're looking for people who can see the big picture, who can see the effect, who can visualize, much like we did here, the effect of individual decisions that, that people make in the workplace and how those decisions affect other parts of the organization. And if they can understand that, what can happen? What can happen is individuals cannot operate from their own perspective, but from the broader perspective of the whole organization. And therefore, you can make a decision that might not be the most value added for your system or your team, but might be a greater value added for the entire organization. And if you were a boss, wouldn't you want people that could think that way? Well, the answer is yes, of course you do. And that's why we want to become systems thinkers. So my challenge to you is, not just for this exercise, but in your life, start thinking of the systems which you impact. There are systems of relationships within your family. There are systems of interactions that happen in the businesses you do today, even as you transition. Start recognizing them. Notice them, think about them, and see the interaction. And once you start to see the interaction, even within your own personal life, you'll get better at it when you go into the private sector, where we want you all to be successful. And that's why we are concerned about being systems thinkers. I think you are all hereby certified as systems thinkers having done this exercise. Give yourselves a round of applause.